In this video, I'll show you how to fix screen tearing in Windows 11. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. I'll be going over multiple different ways you can go and fix screen tearing. So let's get right into this. The first thing we need to go and do is make sure we've got our graphics card drivers installed or even go and update them as well. So we need to first go and identify what graphics card we have. So to do that, you can either go and search device manager uh, at the bottom of Windows or just right click on the Windows Start button and then press on Device Manager. Take a moment to load and I'm going to go and zoom in on this for you guys. And you need to go and locate Display Adapters, which I've got here. So go and tap on the Expand option. And then as you can see, we've then got the option for NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660. So this is our graphics card I have in my case. You may have an AMD one. Um, so yeah, once you've gone and identified that, we can now go and get the drivers for it. So let's go and open up a browser. I'll use Chrome in this example. And then go and type in your manufacturer. So in my case, it's NVIDIA. So NVIDIA drivers just like this. Then make sure you go to the official manufacturer's website as there may be sort of viruses and things on other websites. So just make sure you use the official website. Then once you're here on the NVIDIA website anyway, you'll need to go and um, enter all the information to go and get the appropriate driver for your NVIDIA products. So then go and tap on search and you can then go and download the GeForce driver. So go and download it and then you install it and restart your computer and go and see if the problem has then been fixed. The next thing you can try is by increasing your refresh rate from your computer. If you didn't know, the refresh rate is basically how fast your monitor goes and changes images, as of course, like when a monitor is being used, it's all made up of different images all combined really quickly. And if you didn't know, sometimes Windows doesn't always use the highest refresh rate possible. So let's see if we can go and increase this. So come onto your desktop, somewhere blank, and then right click, and then go and tap on display settings and then just scroll down this page here and go and tap on advanced display under related settings and then you can go and select your monitor I'll select my display too and then go down to choose a refresh rate and go over to the right and as you can see there's quite a few different options here I'm currently using the highest one possible which is good so yeah make sure you're using the highest possible as well on my other monitor I can only use 60 so just make sure you use the highest possible one now, the next fix is actually going to be in games you're playing. So here's one game I have here, it's called Farming Simulator. And what you need to do is go into your video settings for each game. So go into your options and then go down to graphic settings. And what you need to do is locate the setting for VSync. As you can see here, it says VSync prevents tearing, but may influence your frame rate depending on your graphics processor and monitor. So if you're experiencing tearing in games, then it's definitely worth turning on VSync to go and see if that will make any difference. This option here is only going to apply if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, but there may be similar settings on AMD or other types of graphics cards as well. And that is to go and use something called G-Sync on NVIDIA. So right click on your desktop and you'll need to go and show more options and then tap on NVIDIA control panel. Then wait for this to load and what we can do is go and enable something called um, NVIDIA G-Sync. So what you need to do is under display, go down to set up G-Sync. And so make sure it's enabled. And then if we go across, as you can see, it says NVIDIA technology that empowers G-Sync capable displays to show the best visuals with low latency and no tearing, which of course is what you want. So try turning that on and see if it makes any difference. But there we go, guys. I hope you did find this useful. If you did, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.